of beans, full beans. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. You got the 100% custom scratch built top fuel RC drag boat on the freaking block. Okay, this is going to be basically part one introduction to my build series. Okay, up until now, I've given you guys updates on the build the hull, the hull of the build, it's all wood, okay? Today we're gonna go over everything I'm gonna use, electronics, hardware, the whole nine, paint, everything, okay? Uh, what you guys may need for a twin motor RC boat, okay? So stick around, Big B, with Iron Clatters. guys liked the little montage of the boat there you know i figured uh you guys have seen the boat enough in my updates that i'll just kind of do a quick montage it looks freaking boss with the paint job with the primer okay so we're about to get into all the hardware electronics and stuff but first i want to talk about the paint I had a couple guys ask me i used rust-oleum sandable primer okay spray rattle can primer on the boat i've used it in the past and it's a great primer it 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 like cures out to the touch really quick it's sandable within 12 24 hours but the only downfall to that particular paint is it takes uh, a week to fully cure out before you can top coat so rust-oleum sandable primer all right and then i'm going to use krylon fusion i know mixing different brands but i've done it before with success so we're going to paint the boat red is going to be the base color i'm going to do some like gray uh some whites i've actually got a lucas oil sticker sheet coming but I'm, I'm i'm not exactly sure we're going to do the lucas oil yet but we're going to paint the boat in about a week or so we're going to let this fully cure i'm going to sand it fill any holes prime it this evening the last coat of primer this evening and um we're going to paint it together okay so let's get into all the goodies all right i got all the goodies from offshore electrics offshore electrics oxdean marine horizon hobby zip kits and bonzi sports are my go-to distributors for rc boat parts okay i have a link in the description for each of those companies um i'm not going to list all the parts in this video uh because it takes a while i'll probably do it all the parts a whole parts list in the next video everything i'm going to be showing you guys okay so yeah you guys have seen the boat okay um offshore electrics i got this two millimeter thick 11 by 4 or 11 by 5 carbon fiber i'm going to use that for my my battery tray i use the same carbon fiber this is my motor mount that i'm mocking up i have a dual motor okay so it's good stuff all right a twin motor boat you need basically two of everything two uh two i'm using two four millimeter flex cables two drive dogs two bullet nuts two of the same propeller counter rotating uh your your flex cables need to be counter rotating a left hand and a right hand cable okay with the corresponding prop on the corresponding cable if not you'll spin your cable if the props on the wrong one so you got to make sure all that's right okay um so that's basically what i'm using for struts you guys have already seen that um i'm actually going to be using this blackjack 24 rudder all right single water cooling on the boat i may change that up later on but i'm going to start with single cooling and i'm going to use this medium y fitting okay y splitter this is going to split my cooling into two i'm going to try that if i don't get enough flow with the single pickup i might have to go dual pickups external pickups somehow later on blast pickup possibly okay uh need to everything so um two exits all right, so we got our Y fitting. We got two exits, okay? One for each side. Our servo linkage, and we got the bellow for the through hole for the steering, okay? That's basically the, the hardware that's gonna be sitting on the transom of the boat, 
all right now this is the stuff i just got in i literally just got here and i'm like super freaking excited about all of this okay um i actually went with offshore electrics cnc 38 millimeter 1.4 pitch propellers counter rotating we'll have them spinning outward okay not inward all right kind of like a tfl boat for stability all right uh if you have them spinning out it actually gives the boat a lot more um control in a straight okay aluminum props are easy to modify because i may need to actually take down the blade area and or detongue it uh i don't have to put the ppe on they're easy to you know file finish they're lightweight not so sensitive to balancing so uh the cnc prop should be a good start you know 3814 all right so um i got a few taba y harness here <clears throat> this this goes to the, the receiver. I'm going to be using a DX5 Rugged with a SR315 receiver. Okay, uh, two female JSTs for the speed controls. You got to have a Y splitter uh, to split the signal so your speed controls work in harmony with one another. They sync, sync up with one another. Um, my first twin motor build, so it's going to be a learning process for me, and hopefully you guys will help me out or learn something along the way uh, i went with offshore electric 90 amp speed controls okay they're workhorses is all i gotta say man it's basically a fly color 90 you know 500 amp burst 90 amp you got plenty of freaking options for tuning for parameters they're great speed controls you guys i'm going with it okay I, if it ain't broke don't fix it you know i got six feet yeah, six feet, I think. Six feet of medium TFL cooling line. All right, because um, I may, like I said, I may use that Y splitter. I may have to actually uh, go with an external pickup off the transom or something along those lines. Um, I went with a freaking micro servo, which at the time of ordering all this stuff, it really didn't dawn on me till I got the servo. I was thinking it was a larger servo. It's a Power HD micro servo. All right. Um, it's got uh, 1.2 kilograms of torque or 16.6 ounce inches of torque at 6 volts. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be the same size as this Traxxas servo. That's the servo size I wanted to run in the boat. It would be perfect. Don't think that's going to be enough. But, but, I'm actually going to cut my rudder down. Probably, this is a 90 millimeter. Probably going to cut 20 millimeters off, drill a new water pickup. Okay, and, man, I don't know if that's going to do it. You know, top fuel drag boats, they don't really steer. Hell, they're they're just a long for the freaking ride. You know what I'm saying? Got two offshore electrics couplers. All right, four millimeter to four millimeter because I'm using four millimeter shaft. The motor's four millimeter. I went with these aluminum grub screwed couplers. I'm not real fond of them. I've actually used these on a couple of my boats. This particular same one, and they're not bad. They're actually they got a good bite. Um, I have no complaints. Now I went with this over an Octura. Uh, coupler you know that you actually has a nut that you spin onto the cable uh because it's lighter it's quite a bit lighter it's probably about 10 grams lighter than the nocturra brass coupler so i went with that to save weight that's why i went with the y fitting over running two lines and all that trying to save weight anywhere and everywhere i can which kind of brings me to my motor choice i went with leopard hobby 2860s 2860 2730 kv okay uh these are quite a bit lighter than the 2968s which is what a few guys was like man i thought you'd put a 2968 in this boat uh they're actually a few grams lighter and um a little bit smaller in diameter you know so it actually fits in the boat a little bit better uh they come with a 3.5 bullet and the female bullets to go along with it um i also got these short water jackets okay to save weight you know uh if i i could have got the long water jacket for the motor the 50 but that would have been a few more grams i'm adding to the boat this boat's a straightaway boat i basically do a run check my gps let it sit for a second and then do another pass so i figured that the the, the 30s 
length jacket should be sufficient for my build also you got to figure these things fill up with water extra length extra weight uh 2730 that's going to put me at 3s around 30,000, a little over 30,000 rpm and on 4s i'll have 38 39,000 rpm okay uh, so I'll be able to run the boat on 3S and 4S without overturning the motors, without having to worry about the boat falling apart, the motors blowing up. It should be a nice, efficient setup. These things only pull around uh, 75 amps max, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on that, but uh, you have to look at it. 20, 2730 KVs. So the, the ESC choice is actually freaking overkill, but... Why not? Why freaking not? I <laughs> oh man, oh man, it's nice to get little goodies and then doing your first initial dry setup with all your stuff. <laughs> you get tickled to death. So that's basically what it's going to look like. The ESCs are going to be mounted like this. Okay, if I blow or bump the boat wrong, it'll everything will fall apart here. So <laughs> bear with me. Uh, the twenty eight sixties are going to fit in there. I went with the shorter jacket you know to save save weight and if i had to like move my jackets forward or aft uh i could do that with these shorter jackets also i was thinking about possibly if this is too much for the boat which it probably won't be it's probably gonna be perfect but i got these short jackets in case i want to get like a, th a 2850 or 2845 later on um so yeah yep look for the first well second installment of the series in the next few days we're going to do the battery tray motor mount installation esc mount installation and possibly drill a couple holes maybe mount a stuff and tube or something before we do the paint so uh look for that hopefully you guys kind of follow along with the build we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc hopefully this helps you guys out with a twin motor build you know don't forget to like comment subscribe